now we're going to learn to go backwards. In, in these problems, they're giving us an interval and they're wanting us to actually go ahead and write it as um, an inequality involving x or we could even write it uh, using set builder notation that we've talked about before and we're supposed to graph this inequality. Well just like we did before, I think that it is much easier for us to graph it first and then we can write our information that matches it. So let's say here's my number line and here's zero just for reference. One would be here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight would be over here. Now we're talking about all of the things between one and eight, starting at one and going all the way to eight. Our endpoints have parentheses, which tells us that they are not included. So that means there's not going to be any equality there. Now when we write this, we could write it as set builder notation. That would be the set of all x's such that. Now these are quite literally the x's that are in between 1 and 8. So that means x would be in the middle with 1 on one end and 8 on the other end. Now because there is no equality, there's, we don't have brackets, that's telling us that these are just going to be less than symbols. And this literally says that the x's that are between 1 and 8. Now the next one is a um, half open or half closed circle. So because we have closure on one end but not on the other. Let's look at that on a number line. So on a number line, let's say here's my zero for reference. One, two, three, four, negative five would be to the left. One is to the right. And we're talking about all of the things between those two places where the parenthesis tells us that that endpoint is not included. The bracket tells us that that endpoint is included. So we can use that now to go ahead and write our set builder notation. This would be the set of all x's such that, now here again we're talking about the x's that are in the middle of these places. So x is in the middle or the center between negative 5 and 1. On this leftmost end, we do not have equality, so that is just a less than symbol. But on the right end, we do have equality because of that bracket, so that tells us that's a less than or equal to sign. Now the next couple of problems involve infinity, so we need to talk about those. First of all, we have three comma infinity, three to infinity. So let me write that out here, zero, one, two, three would be right here. Anything from three to infinity would start at three and move to the right forever and ever and ever. And look, we have a bracket on that endpoint. Now that means that that endpoint is included because of the bracket. When we write this in set builder notation, so it'd be the set of all x's such that, here, yes, we have, these are the x's that are between 3 and infinity. That's true. But because this goes out to infinity, we could just literally say the x's that are larger than 3. So we have the, x, uh, the x's larger than 3. But now because of equality, because we have that bracket there, we have equality. So we have actually greater than or equal to 3. In the last one, again, we have more of our um, infinity symbols. So when we draw that out, here's the number line, zero in the center. Starting at negative infinity, which would be way over here, and we're going to be moving to the right until we get to positive infinity, which would be way to the right. When we graph it, that's what this looks like. When we write it in set builder notation, we have uh, some choices. Probably the easiest way, though, to do it would be to say the set of all x's such that x is any real number. You could also say that x um, is an element of r. You could say it that way for using your, your set stuff that we learned at the very beginning part of this course.